and Jerry. Don't worry, it's only an hour long, and most days it doesn't suck. All right, we go. It's 5.02. It's going to be a spirited, spirited Thursday. Hell, I might even go up in an Al Dukes. You never know. 5.02, the Eddie Scazzeri. What's up? I did not give him the proper introduction. I always forget his middle name. It is today, Al Stubby Dukes. What's up? Good morning, Jerry. How are you? These Cardinals are a bunch of jerks, a bunch of punks, and I can't wait. Wolf bags. I'm, I'm so glad that the season is young and we'll get to see these guys a couple more times. I'm going to throw right in their square, their backs, leading off games. Well, you're not going to do anything. We I'll hope do the Mets everything. Do it. You don't know that, Jerry. I could sign for a one-day contract, and I say, give me the ball. Let me plant one in the back of these punks from St. Louis. Square the back, Jerry, right between the shoulder blades. You know what I'm saying? That hurts. That would hurt for sure. All right, let's go. Let's give. Let's 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 pick a game. And we'll do. We'll pretend it's a uh, what do you call that? A bullpen game. We'll just send some schmuck out there from the Mets minor league organization. Let him drill a dude, and then put Max Scherzer in. Well, it's even kind of like last night <laughs> or yesterday afternoon. Was that the kid that threw at him yesterday? He was just oh, yeah. basically called up, and he went and did his job. Right. And yeah. that Jerry, I'd give that guy a three year deal right now, guaranteed money. Let's you, go. I like that idea. Do what you, is his name? Yon. Johan. Johan. Is the way it's pronounced. Yes. Do you think? Do you think ticket prices for Mets Cardinals at City Field mid-May go up on the secondary yes. market? Yes, I do. I think they might too. And I think we we got to do a promo here at the radio station. It's fight it. night at City fight Field. Fight night. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> we give away tickets even though I know the games are on 880. You know what the stupidity of the whole thing is? What is that? The pitch was over the plate. Yeah. I mean it, it reminded me, do you remember years back? I th I think it was, I don't remember who it was against. Do you remember, it might have been the Royals in the World Series. Do you remember when it, when Noah Syndergaard threw up and in on one of the guys on the Royals, and then the overhead shot shows the ball was over the plate? Yeah. And they're complaining that he was throwing at people? I mean, God, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Meanwhile, Pete Alonso's been drilled in the helmet twice. This right. was just high and tight, barely and, tight. And this piece of garbage... Marmol sitting there saying it's not right. You don't throw up there. It's you hit him in the head, right? You jackass. Who's this Marmo, Jerry? This is that manager you were telling manager. me about yesterday. Yes. This young managing punk. Yes, exactly. I mean, give me a break. I will say these games are exciting. First of all, yesterday's Mets Cardinals game had everything. It was a beautiful weather day, beautiful. daytime game. Look great, perfect. Yep. Mets got out to an early lead. Cardinals came back. Mets scored. Cardinals scored. They had a, 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 a dude from the Cardinals throw out uh, Guillermo at, at third, third base. That was a great throw. Guillermo. Guillermo. We had dribblers for hits. Yes. We had great fielding. You know I what mean, you, it was you a know, little bit of everything. And you know what's neat about this game? What is that? 15 runs scored. Yeah. Over, under, on home runs, two and a half. How many? I'm going to say under. Zero. Zero home runs, There were Jerry. no home runs in yeah. a 15-run game. Right. So it was really like... It was, I don't want to say old school baseball, but oh. you got you got a little bit of everything yeah. except the home run ball. And then who is this stubby clap? I, he's, a, he's a coach on the Cardinals bench. I don't know. I never heard of him until yesterday. He's tackling Pete Alonzo? I, I know. First of all, he comes up to Pete Alonzo's nipples. And he's 49. I Googled him this morning. He's 49. Why didn't Pete Alonzo... Uppercut well, him. He, Pete Alonzo's smart that he didn't. Why is that? Because Pete Alonzo, if he throws back and hits him, I yeah. know it's self defense at that point. He gets suspended because this guy's going to be suspended for sure. Oh, you think so? Stubby, oh. what's his name? Stubby Claps. Do you not think he'll be suspended? He better be. You can't be tackling players no, on the you field. Can't. I would think 100% he's going to end up getting suspended. I don't know how he doesn't. And why didn't all the Mets players dive on this Stubby Clap and start smashing him? I, I don't know. You'd have to ask them. I, I will know. ask them. I Where do, do I go? Know. I'll go to the locker room tonight. Well, but you're not going to do that because you're, you're, they're not playing. Yeah, plus I like to go to bed early. That too. Exactly right. But if I were the type to go in the locker room, Jerry, I'd be like, why didn't you guys? We need Daryl Strawberry just to come to a one-day. Where's Kevin Mitchell? Yeah, Daryl Strawberry and Kevin Mitchell. They come into a one-day, what do you call that, like an intensive. Uh... Training. Training. Yes, Jerry, an intensive training. Not on Zoom, in person. And you say, this is what happens when Stubby Clap grabs and tackles one of your star players. You all...
punch him in the face. Here was Alonzo on why he, you know, what he could have done. For me, like, I'm a big, strong guy. They don't, they don't know, like, my temper. They don't know what I could do. I mean, if I wanted to put someone in the hospital, I easily could, but I was just out there trying to protect my guys. Sounds like the Hulk. Put him in a body bag. If I, you don't want to see me when I'm angry. <laughs> we do want to see you. You've been hitting the head twice. I'm, I know. And you're not throwing any punches. You got tackled by Stubby Clap. Like, Let's go. I don't know how. You're Pete Alonzo. That don't um and it's again he gets hit in the head in this series. I honestly don't know how you keep your composure when it's happened to you multiple times now and you don't fling the bat at the guy. Yeah. And I know you're not supposed to do that, and I know he would get suspended for I understand. But I don't know how you just stay so calm and hold yourself back. Because he's not a fighting guy. He That's said he's a big strong guy, but anybody in the hospital. No, he's a big strong guy, but he doesn't have the temper. He's not chippy. Right, he's not too nice. Starling Marte got hit in the head twice. He'd be swinging. <laughs> yeah, right. Because that's a guy who's looking to defend himself yeah. and, and uh, his honor. Not this Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo's too nice of a dude. Yeah, he's like a bi- he is a big guy. There if was, he threw a big uppercut to yeah, stubby he, clap, he'd could he knock, knock him, him into in? tomorrow? He sure could. This I found this funny. And I love this because he's talking about, you know how we have, have discussed so many times what it must be like to be facing these guys throwing 198, whatever. So Alonzo actually gets, he makes that point. I wish that anyone else that on the outside that doesn't understand, I wish you could understand what it's like between the lines when you see that ball coming in at you that fast. You just don't understand until you stand in the box. Fair enough. Makes sense. I love I love the follow-up, though, and his reaction. What is it like? I mean, it's scary. What would you think it's like, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> Get in the box. Let's go. Exactly. Who asked that? I guess Tim Healy. Tim I Healy. Would think. They would should think. do that for a media day. Let us all. I've always said let that. Let us all get in the box and let uh, uh, let either DeGrom or Scherzer throw heat at us. I have said for years and years and years, all of us idiots that criticize these guys, you know, fans too, but obviously in this case you're talking about the media. I would love some sort of simulation, whether it's the speed of the NFL on the field, the size, the speed, the violence. And I don't know if it's virtual reality. I don't know how you do that. Because yeah, let's some, do that virtual would, reality because I don't want to get hit. Wouldn't it be great to give you the football in a simulated game and say, all right, Al, here we go. We're going to pitch it to your right. Toss sweep right. And guess who's waiting? For, Von Miller is about to lay you out. It just once. That's it. One time just for you to see what it feels like. And what it would be that like would be awesome for me to deke him right out, Jerry. Oh yeah, deke. deke him. You realize how incredibly slow your deke would be with that level of athlete on the field. I, I they guess, wouldn't even think you moved. But well, right. But maybe my slowness would throw off a Von Miller. You type. know what your slowness would do? Would get you knocked into tomorrow. I'd you, be like, <laughs> deke left, go right, and then he would right through your chest cavity. Von Miller, <laughs> right to the side. Help! He's broken. <laughs> I would be like a matador, and he would be the bull, Jerry. No, have my I don't red, think so. I'd have my red squared handkerchief. The only thing red would be the blood coming out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just, I love that idea, though. And in baseball, you're right. Put a guy in the batter's box, and and the funny thing is, you don't even have to throw 100. Throw it 80. And I think guys would be blown away with how fast it is. Yeah. It's let's really. Do, let's do it. I would love to. It'd be great. It would be. And then let me pitch a couple to the Cardinals batting practice. See if they could take my 40 miles per hour. I was going to say, you're going to hit 40. Fastball right in the butt cheek. <laughs> see how you like that. I don't think that they would mind all that much. Man. Kind of a great idea, though. Remember putting the guy on skates and getting checked yeah. by someone on the ice? Like a real NHLer? The jackass guys. Here, Matt Martin's coming after you. The jackass guys do that sometimes. Do they? Yeah, they'll like in the jackass movies, they get in, um, like in the last one, the new one that just came out, they had a, a P.K. Subban uh, slap shot in the guy in a cup. Right. That's not a common occurrence, though, in the game. Yeah. I meant skate up the, the wall, you know, up the boards boom. and get checked into yeah. the boards and then have to get up as you're trying to catch your breath because your lungs were just <laughs> basically squeezed. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it is amazing what these guys can do. 